Chapter 14. It was the last day of adoption week. I crawled out from under my porch, glad to leave the noisy rats behind. Nosing my way toward the home, I thought long and hard about Luke, about why he acted the way he did, as if he didn't care if he got a home or not. I think he was afraid to show how much it meant to him. Then he could say it didn't matter when he didn't get picked. He didn't know how to change his ways, and so he probably wouldn't. Something had to happen to show the parent people what a good boy he was and how much he needed them. I thought and thought and finally hit upon a plan. I wasn't sure it would work, but it was worth a try. Something told me it was Luke's last chance. All that worrying and planning had made me wander off course. I was late. Hurrying across the parking lot, I never noticed the old pickup park there. Once again, I stationed myself under the window. The boys were in their line, hands held out so that the old gray guy could check them. Some boys had to leave the room to wash up again. Luke was one of them. I watched him slump out. He came back, wiping his hands down his pants, and went to the end of the line. The parent people came in, two by two. They all looked like pretty good catches to me. Well fed, a little bit lonely, but happy looking. And what do you know, the last ones in were the perfect parents, the same pretty lady and the man with the haystack hair. Luke had another chance, if only he would grab it. The gray guy gave his speech, the boys laughed when they were supposed to, and then the shaking hands stuff started. Luke went down the line, dragging his feet, sticking out his hand each time as if he didn't mean to do it. I waited until he was one boy away from the haystack guy until I reached to shake until he reached to shake the haystack guy's hand, then I barked. Loud. Everybody turned. Mrs. Pinch's mouth fell open. The gray guy's glasses slid down his nose. Jack! cried Luke and raced to the window. And then I began doing my flips. Flip, 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 past the window and back again. Flip, flip, flip. The window flew up. Luke stuck his head out. Jack! Luke was laughing, laughing so hard I had to flip a couple more times. The pretty lady and the haystack man had come to the window too. They were smiling, watching Luke, watching me. That's my dog, cried Luke, grabbing the lady's hand. His name is Jack.